Let's review the main characters in A Tale of Two Cities, starting with Charles Darnay. At the beginning of the novel, the innocent Charles Darnay is being tried in England at the Old Bailey for treason. Sidney Carton gets him acquitted. He meets and falls in love with Lucy Manette and marries her. His secret is that he is of the same French aristocratic family that imprisoned her father, Dr. Manette. Darnay is a good man, repentant for his family's terrible acts. He is saved again from death by Sidney Carton. Sidney Carton is another important character. A lawyer who drinks heavily and happens to look a lot like Charles Darnay, Carton becomes reluctant friends with Darnay because he is in love with Lucy Manette, but he knows he cannot have her. Carton's depression and low self-esteem turn around and he changes his life for the better. His love for Lucy is so strong that he vows to do anything for those she loves so she can have a good life. In the end, he sacrifices his life to save Darnay from the guillotine. At the beginning of the novel, Lucy Manette is only 17 and has been told by Mr. Laurie, her guardian and advisor, that her father, whom she believes dead, is actually alive. Bringing him back to London to live with her, Lucy is the golden thread who ties together nearly all the other characters. She marries Charles Darnay, becomes friends with Laurie, and is loved by Sidney Carton. Her goodness and link to Darnay make her a target for Madame Defarge. Miss Pross and Dr. Manette dogmatically protect her. Dr. Manette is a frail former prisoner who can do nothing but make shoes all day long. Rescued by his daughter, Lucy, he becomes a stable, loving father and solid friend, unless something reminds him of his time in prison. Even though Darnay is the nephew of the man who imprisoned him, Dr. Manette accepts Darnay into his family for Lucy's sake. He is willing to fight for Darnay's life, using his ex-prisoner hero status to help in that fight. Mr. Jarvis Laurie is the one who discovers that Dr. Manette is actually alive and has survived his imprisonment. As the financial advisor to the family and Lucy's guardian for financial purposes, Laurie tries to keep their relationship professional, but he's emotional and becomes like family to them. Monsieur Defarge seems to be an ally of Dr. Manette, his one-time employer, having gotten Dr. Manette out of Paris. However, as a leader of the revolutionaries, Monsieur Defarge cannot simply stand by and allow Charles Darnay to come back to Paris without any consequences, regardless of the fact that he is now Dr. Manette's son-in-law. Defarge is one of the people who denounces Darnay in court and brings forth Dr. Manette's letter denouncing Darnay as well. He is kinder than his sinister wife. Madame Defarge is admirably strong in her determination to fight for the revolution, but she is also vindictive and cruel, often silent but violent. She has no mercy whatsoever, knitting names of those she wants killed into her death register.